Hi guys and welcome to my new series. Um, basically what I'm going to be trying to do in this is win the cup with Germany and Netherlands in um in the Brazil FIFA World Cup 2014 thing. Sorry I can't get it on FIFA 15. I was going to do an Ultimate Team series, but my recording keeps fucking up on the PS3. Don't know why, but these are the groups I'm going to be playing with, with in the qualifiers for the 2014 World Cup. It looks nice, doesn't it? I'm actually doing the real, um, the real games as well, so. So yeah, this could be quite fun. I hope you guys are going to like this new series. Um, I'm just doing it for a bit of a laugh, really. I, I just had, you know, I hadn't record, recorded in a while. I had nothing to do, and I just thought, why don't I just make a new series? But yeah, it's the first goal. I really liked that one. It was a nice one where it just sprinted straight up the pitch with Robin, cut inside, <laughs> finesse straight over the keeper. It was nice. And a bit of a mistake by the defender lets Elia get the ball, run straight on, and smack it into the top corner. I really enjoy using Elia over the time that I've been playing this series. I've done quite a lot of this series already by the time that you're hearing this and yeah I've I found Elia really fun um Robin as well I like playing with Robin just because of the pace really if he had like the four star skills that he has in this FIFA now then he'd be brilliant I mean I've used Robin on this ultimate team I packed him like, a while ago um around team of the year time and he was absolutely phenomenal I mean, I played him in teams who were like Bent or up front and Son on the left. I mean, Son's good, but Bent was up front and I was still smashing people at 8 0, the people I, I would usually lose to. And I don't know, I just really, really liked him for some reason. I think it was the skill moves. I mean, the spin is just so overpowered, and you just need four star skills to do it as well. Sorry about my voice, by the way. It's quite croaky. And then Lens buries that. And I think. I don't really like Lens. I mean, he's got like nice pace, and he's got four star skills, and all that stuff. But I think Elia is a lot better. I mean,. I was playing Elliot up front to be fair, but Lenz always seems to be favoured. I mean, I've never seen him actually play in real life, but <laughs> I always like see on FIFAs and that. Well, I'm, I'm probably I actually I probably saw him in the World Cup, but on FIFAs and that, I always see him, and he's always in the starting eleven. And Ellie is nowhere near it, and I don't understand why that is. I mean, did you see the Southampton Newcastle game? I mean, <laughs> I know Southampton have a good team, but he really did save their asses. It was, it was his first game, his debut with the club, and he scored two in like that, like the eighty minute plus. It was just mad. I mean. I like him on FIFA too because, well, <laughs> fucking FIFA 14, he was amazing. I like playing him in like a 4-3-3, number 4 formation, you know. Playing him on the left, far fan on the right, and then I'll play like, I don't know, usually Manzukic in the middle. Cam I'll have, um, Van der Vaart actually, because Van der Vaart's good at getting goals. Um, two sentiments, probably Javi Martinez and Gustavo. Used to be brutal pairing. But, <laughs> I'm getting off the point. Anyway, this is the 11th goal. Tap through to Robin, who hits the post, and then Elliot buries it. Well, I don't know what to say about Leroy Fur actually, because Fur gets... gets me some goals but I really like him for some reason he just seems really solid he's like a, a perfect CDM but he can also score many goals as well 
That's what I think of Yaya Toure. Many people play him at like Cam or Striker, but I see him as more of a defensive person. I don't know why that is. I don't know what has put that in my mind. Apparently he is a Cam and sometimes he plays centre forward and shit like that. But I see him as a CDM, really. I I always use him as a CDM or a centre mid. And he is really solid because of his strength. He doesn't have much pace. And, you know, he's one. He's just one of those people. But he can also get the goals as well, you know. With the good passing, being able to pass it around. Gets it to a winger. Winger bolts down the wing. Puts it, puts it to the edge of the box. And Yaya Torre is ed, ready to smash it in. Anyway, that's the last goal. Scored by Elia. And I think that... I don't know whether it went well. I accidentally set it to beginner. And, um, yeah, it ended up 15 nil. So, that's just, yeah. I, th I thought I'd post it anyway because, you know, then if I didn't, I'd have, like, barely any content. But I did kind of mess up there by setting it to beginner. Please don't slate me in the comments. It was an accident. I mean, I can play on a semi-pro and professional. In this game, I was playing on professional. And if you saw that goal, that was mental. Um, but yeah, you can watch this game. And I think I play pretty well on this. I, I scored a few goals. Um, Ozil was my main man in Germany. I really liked Ozil. I also enjoyed playing with um, Royce, apart from he didn't get any goals. But he just kept having good opportunities, I guess. But his crossing was top notch. I mean, he's not even a corner taker for Germany, I don't think. But I still really enjoy doing the triple tap crosses with Royce. When you sprint down the wing, no right back's going to keep up for him with him, apart from maybe Carl Walker or Yedlin or some shit like that. But he just sprints down the wing like he is doing now and this is an example of it triple tap cross straight in to Ozil Ozil puts it at the back of the net that's what I enjoyed about Royce and Ozil is just a deadly finisher he also um well he didn't exactly set up that one but that's the end of the game and I guess I'll see you guys next time bye